So here we are at the start of the fall season in Canada. And usually that means parents get a break as children go back to school. Students get a break because classes have sort of started, but no assignments are due for a while. And all the other people get a break with most things just returning to normal. But not this year. No break. Because we have an election on October 21st, which means that all four and a half party leaders will be constantly barking and whining and promising and filling the papers and airwaves with clutter. But it is important to clutter. As with most countries in the world, Canada is at a critical crossroad. This is not just an ordinary election. The world has changed dramatically since the last election, and Canada needs to change or fall back. We've got to get it right this time. So we're going to look at what slogans the parties are running under and see whether they offer any clues as to who we should elect to power. Choose forward is the mantra of our current prime minister. Well, whoever goes backward intentionally, unless it is into a parking spot. Is this supposed to take our attention away from the fact that at least half of Canadians think that Trudeau has thoroughly botched the job, broken the law, and he has no clue as to what a PM should do? Let's watch the fun. It's going to be a lot of fun as he tries to reinvent himself. That is going to be magic. It's time for you to get ahead, is what Andrew Scheer is preaching. Certainly it has a basic appeal. It's all about me, and I am going to get ahead. A better life. But the question remains, how will Scheer create that better life? Is he going to build a hyper-fast train to New York City for everybody? Not left, not right, forward together. Okay, Ms. May, we could march together with you, but right down the center of the road? I get that, but where is that road leading? The center could be mediocrity, which is exactly what Canada does not need more of. We need real plans. A new deal for people. Well, we all know that the NDP is for the people. They have been preaching that for 60 years. But wasn't it back before then that the Americans got their new deal? What is yours, Jugmeat? You need to show up with more than your considerable charm, more than the tired old NDP dogma, Show us what you would do to Canada. Strong and free. That is from Maxim, the leader of the Hafa Party, who deserves our attention just because he has the guts to break away and preach what a great number of Canadians think. After all, he will garner attention for himself with saying things that the elites hate. Strong and free is our national anthem, so it resonates. But what does that translate into as far as real changes if you were PM, Maxim? Have you ever heard of thin ice? You may be on it. So there you have it. And what will we get? We will get leaders, particularly Trudeau, doing exactly what they promised not to do. Call each other names, play divisive politics, talk about old, now irrelevant issues, such as gay rights and abortion. They're in the past. How about for a change, a strong policy to deal with what those other nasty countries are doing to us? Or a new income tax? Or a real plan to do something that will actually impact climate change? Don't hold your breath on that one. They are, after all, politicians and Canadian ones at that.